All right, full disclosure, I am afraid to fly. And they keep telling me that the way to get over it is to fly, which, <laughs> no, it's not true. Uh, but since many of us want to fly home for the holidays, today national investigative correspondent Jeff Rossin has brought some first-class tips to lose the fear and get to travel nirvana. Uh, Jeff, okay, first of all, I didn't By the way, this is not, these aren't tips for first-class passengers. <laughs> no, no. These are just really good tips. For all of us. <laughs> you actually have a pilot's license? I do. I do fly. I'm instrument rated. I can fly in bad weather and everything. Did yeah. you ever think I could die up there? Absolutely. My wife tells me that all the time. Yeah. She's like, why do you do this? And you're not taking our kids up anymore. Yeah. But, but, but yeah, there's a picture of us in the plane right there. But flying is completely safe. And I feel like I want to talk directly to you because you have a fear of flying. Yes. And flying... you're a little pilot. Wait, we have a little prop for you. Hold on a second. Oh, where's, our, where's our little prop? Oh, there we go. Oh, please. Am That's for you. Me? That's for you. There you <laughs> Do go. I have to wear it? I I'll, I'll wear it at the beginning. There we go. Uh, just for the blooper reel. It's Sorry. Christmas time after all. <laughs> uh, for the holiday party. Yeah. Flying is very safe. Believe it or not, this, here are the stats. Here's a stat that would make you feel good and you feel good. Your chance of getting into a car accident, one in 5,000. Your chance of getting into a, a, a plane crash, one in 11 million. So, so far, you are so far more... I'm not feeling good. Now I'm terrified of the car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't drive to the airport. You're more, more in danger of getting into an accident that way. So you but want... you can survive a car accident. It's like if the plane yes. goes down, the odds of you surviving are very slim. Absolutely. That's why we're so scared. They are slim, but there are things you can do in the plane as well. Buckling yourself in for turbulence. We'll talk about that in a minute. But, yes, I want to come over here because All I want right. to talk about okay, good. a couple of things that can help you out. If you are flying. Turbulence is what we're scared of. Turbulence that is what you're scared of. So the thing. let me get into the turbulence right, right away. Yeah. Planes are designed to be incredibly safe. If you go on YouTube. You we can, know. You can, no, they are. <laughs> Even the most severe turbulence will not bring a plane down. Planes are not That's scared what by they turbulence. Say. No, it's true. Turbulence is when not going to When your plane, plane is going through the air like a toy, up and down and dropping and losing, like suddenly time. you've dropped how think, many thousands of feet? Think about, think about the actual stories that are on the news about severe turbulence. It's always people who get hurt by not being buckled in. They're hitting what their heads the on the ceiling. What about the plane crashes where they can't determine how it went down? It's how not do we know turbulence. it wasn't like, whoa, and then Planes you're are rated for any kind of severe turbulence that the weather could possibly give physically. And then they're rated even beyond that. If you look, they actually take the wings of planes when they test them before flight and basically bend them fully up. It, it can't, a, well, that, turbulence that cannot bring better. a plane down. All right, so yes. what are the tips so to here get the, through that fear? When there is turbulence, here's a cool little tip. And actually, somebody walked up to me in the airport the other day because I did this on the Today Show a while ago, but I wanted to do it again for you oh. because of your fears. Recycled news. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I need it. No, 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 no. He walked up and said, this has actually really helped me. Are you a righty or a lefty? I'm a righty. Okay, put this in your hand. Start writing your name if there's turbulence with your left hand. It, it, it draws concentration. Oh, my God, you're really bad at that. Um, and so is everyone. Hold on. This is, this is how Megan writes her name with her left hand. Can we see? That's... I look like I'm that's four. How, that's how she writes it. But anyway, <laughs> it, it pulls your concentration away, uses the other hemisphere of your brain, and that can really help you when there's turbulence. You will not think about the turbulence as much, okay? So that's one thing you can do. The other thing is on takeoff. Are you scared about takeoff? Yes. Okay, takeoff. Can you see that? <laughs> Scary. Scary. <laughs> Here's the other thing you can do during takeoff. And again, this, this goes against conventional wisdom where you should control your breathing. But what you want to do is sit in your seat, Tense up your muscles yes, there, and hold chop, your breath. Check. Hold your breath. That's hold what it. we're doing. Hold That's it. what the fear, those of us with the fear are doing. Hold it for 30 <laughs> seconds really hard, though, really hard on takeoff roll, and then let it go. It releases adrenaline and a chemical called, called cortisol, which will give you, as you're about to lift off, as okay. you lift off, it's going to give you some relaxation. And what's the last thing if that doesn't work? The re okay, here's the last thing. If you're hyperventilating... Bring a straw with you on the plane and breathe through the straw. Oh my God! So It'll you have to humiliate yourself. I've actually seen people Can doing this on the plane. Can you imagine, like, yeah? <laughs> I'll give you breathe one. Through a straw. The one thing in all my years of being afraid of flying that has made me feel any better. One thing. Somebody once told me you have a better chance of being killed by a donkey than you do of going down in an See, airplane. See, I, I didn't pull those stats, but I'm sure that's that true. That makes me feel better. Perfect. I, I also like the tip of talk to the if you have a bad flight, yeah. talk to the pilot on your way off the aircraft. Here's a better one. Talk okay. to the pilot on the way in. Ask how the ride is going to be. They often know Here's a how one. it's going to be. Here's a better one than that. It looks like a tip-off. Talk to the pilot on the way into the plane and tell him, if it gets bumpy, for the love of God, would you talk to us? <laughs> right? Does it have to be silent no. every moment when we have to worry? 
By the way, Jeff Ross. The plane is never scared by turbulence. Only people are. Stay buckled in when there's turbulence. It's the only way you can get hurt during turbulence. And it doesn't hurt to have a glass of wine yes, either. Jeff Rossin, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.